What's going on guys, it's Sue. Welcome back to the studio. So glad you guys could make it. Today we have an anime related collectible to share. We're going to open up Jet Black from one of my absolute favorite anime series, Cowboy Bebop. So if you're a fan of Cowboy Bebop or anime in general, which is basically everybody here, right? Then come along with me as we unbox and assemble this figure together. As always, we'll start with the package info. The box with its content weighs in at 19.25 pounds or 8.73 kilograms, which is about in line with other figures of this scale. Moving on to the box dimensions, height is 22.5 inches or 57.15 centimeters, width is 16.25 inches or 41.28 centimeters, and depth is 11.75 inches or 29.85 centimeters. It's not a huge package for a quarter scale figure and that's a win for collectors who don't like to give up storage space, myself included. The styrofoam has an emblazoned image of the figure on it. As usual, let's keep our eye out for the labels marking the orientation. Here we see that this is the bottom end and we'll lay down the styrofoam image faced down. Only one line of tape, so there's only one compartment. The base sticks halfway into each piece of styrofoam, so we'll have to wiggle the top off directly upward. This exclusive version of Jet here is comprised of seven pieces, though it only takes five to fully assemble Jet as the other two pieces are additional swap out display options. Let's work our way up beginning with the base. All the bases in this figure lineup will have a common theme, which is a round base with a color coded perimeter unique to each character. In the case of Jet here, we see that his is green with artwork of him from the show. The bottom of the base has an adhesive backing and is plain black with the numbered edition labeling. Next, we move on to the main body. It's mostly a solid piece and it's got quite a bit more heft than Spike's body was. The green inner lining of his jumpsuit sticking out is a nice touch. Another standout thing to mention is how authentic and believable his armored boots are. We'll get more into that in the upcoming review at a later date. Only one square metal peg juts out under his right foot. Here we have the head. The portrait is pretty authentic to the anime, though I will say there is a noticeable blemish on his nose. That's a defect on mine, so I'll have to get that sorted out with first four figures. I'm pretty satisfied overall with the faithful recreation though. Here we have the regular standard edition right arm holding a pistol. It's a little odd that his finger is on the trigger, but we'll get more context onto that in a bit. The gun does not have as believable a metal look as his boots does, but nothing else too out of the ordinary here. Next coming out is his left bionic arm. It doesn't have a realistic metallic finish either, but that is by design. As on the show, Jet's arm has a slightly muted finish as not to be too distracting to his overall design. They did a good job translating that here as well. Moving on to the exclusive edition extras, which is an alternate display for his arms. They're both required for the look. We have the right arm here that is partially folded, followed by his left bionic arm which is also partially folded. And that's everything out of the box. So that's everything out of the box, very straightforward, not complicated at all, just how we like it. But now on to the assembly process. Starting out with the base, which has a surprising amount of heft to it. It only has one square peg slot, as there is only one point of connection. Jet slots into the base via a square rod under his right foot. It's all rod and no key, so there's quite a bit of travel the rod has to make. We've got to have steady hands to guide the rod perfectly straight downward. I generally prefer a mixture of key rod combinations, but this is what we got for this figure. On the regular standard look, the right arm has to go in first. It attaches via a square key and is magnetized into place. The left arm goes in second and we have to be very cautious as his left hand goes over the gun as if he's racking the slide and the thumb in particular is very small and fragile. The magnet is very powerful in the shoulder socket so we don't want the arm to be yanked from our grip while we are fitting the left hand into place. 
Lastly, to finish the standard regular display, his head slots in with a square key and is also magnetized into place. To get the exclusive edition look, we'll have to remove the left arm first, just as cautiously as we were when we attached it. Following the left arm is his right arm. This time around, the order is reversed, and his left bionic arm has to go on first. Followed by his right arm, which nestles his right palm over his left fist as if he is cracking the knuckles on the bionic arm. And this is the look for the exclusive edition. So there he is all set up. Now, one of the things that stands out about his pose to me that's a little off is that he's got his finger on the trigger while he's racking the slide. Now, that's a little weird to me, but I'm no gun expert. Maybe I'm just being a little nitpicky, but you guys decide for yourselves. Check out this montage I put together. Enjoy. Most exclusive editions have very subtle alternative options, but this one's a little more substantial. I mean, it changes him from an armed and ready pose to a more brawler ready pose, right? But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for stopping on by and unboxing Jet with me. Now, if you guys wanna see the other figures in this lineup, I'll have them all featured as they arrive. Now, this is the part where I beg you for your likes, subs, and comments. So if you enjoyed the video, please do that down below. I'm always excited to share what's next with you guys, so I hope to see you guys next week. Don't worry what others think. Collect the things that you love and i'll see you guys in the next upload again thank you guys so much happy hunting and take care